Alrighty, so we are back to the last and final portion of this video. So I went ahead and outlined everything. As you can see, well, you can't see the whole thing. So let me shift the camera a little bit. All right. All righty. So here is my almost final product. So I went on and just outlined the entire thing. There he goes. All righty. So I outlined the entire thing and filled up all the non-solid areas, all the areas that did not include an object such as a dinosaur, a tree, the car, the stones, any, any stuff like that. I just went and outlined and covered everything that was not an object in black once again. So this gave me this really neat look. It looks really beautiful. I love it. So now the last and final step. So if you already outlined your picture but you haven't filled up all the areas with black, I would say go ahead and do that before you move on with this last part. But if you already did that, then you're ready to go. Or if you took a break and finished it off and you're ready to move on now, then we're set to go. So now, the last thing, we're gonna add some details. Because details, details are cool. They add a lot of interest to our picture, a lot of magic to it. So pardon me, I'm trying to find my brush, my special brush, which I can't find for some odd reason. She went missing. Oh, here it goes. Alrighty, so I'm using this tiny little peeny beeny uh, brush here. So I like this one because it gives me room for, for a lot of uh, creativity. You can do so much with this. So you're going to go ahead and get your paint again. Gloss black. And I just poured some on the cap. You can pour it on your palette. I'm just using this cap for now. So you're gonna go ahead and dip it and make sure you don't carry a lot of ink because you need a sharp edge. And we're gonna start making some details on our picture. So let's see, I wanna add some tribal details to this dinosaur. I know it looks cool enough already the way it is, but the whole point of this is to add some extra features and make it really stand out. You want a really nice piece here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my cloud. So. I'm gonna add a couple of more details to this cloud here, like this line, giving more definition. There we go. You see what a difference that makes? Just one little itsy bitsy little line. You could do so much for a picture. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. And you could also go ahead and make your line crisp. There we go. That's a nice, crisp line there. You see that? Beautiful. Okay. So let's go ahead and finish this end over here. Nice. Now that cloud looks way better. So we're going to mess with this cloud over here. I kind of messed up a little bit on the line, but like I said before, we can always fix it. So I'm gonna make a couple of little lines here, make it look more defined. You see, I went around my little coconuts. They look really cool now. And then on this dinosaur, I'm gonna add some details here. I'm gonna add some tribal details. So um, if you don't have any idea how to work with tribals, just go ahead and Google some pictures and, and it'll give you some ideas. You can also look at sugar skulls from Day of the Dead, those beautiful little patterns they have. You can use all those kinds of patterns for this. So in reality, there's really no specific rules to, to uh, your design. You can decide it however you want it. So now I'm going to add a couple of little designs here. There you go. And you see, I really love this skinny tip because you can do so much with it. You see that? Oh man, that is beautiful. I'm making some somewhat of an elvish kind of tribal pattern here. Very neat. Look at that. And then just come back and you can add as much detail as you want or as little detail as you want. Like I said before, there's no right or wrong when it comes to this. I'm going to add a few dots here. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Cool. 
All right, he looks like he just came out of prison. So let's go ahead and there we go. Look at that. Like I said, it's your picture, your imagination. Feel free to do whatever you want with your piece. So I'm gonna give it a few more details. I'm actually gonna go all the way down here. Look at that, nice. And you can use any kind of pattern you would like. You have the freedom to do so. It's your picture. I decided to go with this one because I really enjoy these curvy kind of patterns with dots and you know, leaves and all the natural elements. It's really nice. Really cool. I believe so. It's kind of like that octopus, the squid picture I showed you the other day. Or you can see it on video number one. I don't have it with me anymore. He's unfortunately gone to the gallery. So he's on his way, hopefully, to get adopted by somebody who can put it on their wall and admire it for many years to come. So I don't have them anymore to show you, but you can go back to video one and look at it if you like. There we go. You see that? Mm -mm -mm. And I know probably some people are like, oh, you just messed this picture up. It looks so nice before. No, he's not messed up. He's all right. It's messed up when you decide that it's messed up. Unless you really mess it up, then it's messed up. But other than that, it looks really nice to me. I really enjoy this type of pattern. And I think it looks beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of more details here. On the face, on the arms, on the truck, on this dinosaur. I'm going to go over and make all of this crisp. And if you made any mistakes, import any blacks accidentally, uh, accidentally on the white surface. Just go ahead and get some white paint and fix those mistakes right quick. That's the good thing. You can fix it up. You only have two colors. You can't go wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and fix up all the details like the ones I did here. And as soon as I'm finished, I will show you the finished product. And hopefully you'll be able to show me your finished product by putting a picture below on the comment section. Thank you.